Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. Today we're gonna be reviewing the Kiehl's Avocado Nourishing Mask. Uh, I got this one. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this in my gratis haul from the other day. And this is gonna be an actual review. Now keep in mind, in order to see results from masks or see if they actually work, you have to try it more than once. But this is kind of more like a first impression. How does it feel? How does it smell? You know, so I am going to try this. I really need to invest on a brush, like a, um, a rubber like spatula brush that I can use with my face masks. But for now, this little thing will do. It came with my Drunk Elephant uh, Solid Cleanser, and I'm gonna try this. And I thought it was really cool because it's green, so everything is green. This mask is inspired by freshly picked avocados. This rich and addictively cream facial mask intensely hydrates skin, leaving it feeling soft and replenished with moisture. And it's formulated with avocado fruit extract, omega-rich avocado oil, and primrose oil and it leaves the skin feeling nourished while helping to prevent water loss by sealing in moisture for soft healthy looking skin our mask is the perfect pick okay Kiehl's we're gonna see if this is actually legit you know because a lot of masks say and claim a whole bunch of things but in reality it really doesn't do much um, so we're just gonna go ahead and try it I've never seen a mask that looks this solid. And not to explain it, I thought the mask was gonna be like a darker green um, and kind of more like messy. It smells like very light. It barely has a scent, um, but we're gonna go ahead and dig right into it. So it says, apply a visible layer to clean skin and leave on for 15 minutes. Rinse with warm water and massage gently in a circular motion. Pat dry with a soft towel. All right then. Okay. It kind of looks like guacamole. That's so cool. Anyways. Okay, so I felt like it was better for me to put it on with my fingers as soon as I applied it to my face and it really feels like I'm rubbing smushed avocado on my face. Like it really does feel that way. Because it's actually like not smooth. You actually can feel the pieces. It's a little weird. Um, ooh. And I, ooh. <laughs> I love that. This really blends out nicely, like you really don't need a lot. It feels very moisturizing, like I really love the way it feels. I feel like this is gonna be awesome for the winter time, especially when my face is so parched. Um, I love that it kind of feels like buttery as I'm putting it all over my skin. Mm -mm -mm. Right now it is 4 up, oh, 422, and it says to leave it on for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna come back at 437. I'm gonna wash it off and we're gonna see the results to see if I like it or not. So if you guys would like to see what I think about this mask after I wash it off, then just keep watching. Mm. 437, it has now been 15 minutes. Here's what I think about the mask. I was applying the mask, I felt that it was very hydrating and it felt really good on the skin. I'm not a fan of the chunky application, it's a very odd texture that I will say. I did like the way it made my skin feel in terms of the hydration and I really felt like a nice little hydrating like residue on the skin. Now, as it was sitting on my face, I didn't notice the chunky parts of the mask falling off or anything, it stayed intact. But then here goes removing the mask. And so when I applied a little bit of warm water on my face and I started rubbing the mask in circular motions like the instructions said to do, I felt that greasy residue. Like even right now as I'm touching my face, I still feel a little bit of a greasy residue. It's nothing too crazy, but I do feel my face a little bit like more greasier than usual. It does feel hydrating, don't get me wrong, but 
I do feel a little greasiness so I wasn't a fan of removing it because my even my hands felt oily and I cannot stand cleansers or face masks that make my face feel oily that's just not my thing removing it I wasn't a big fan of it plus it was like little chunks in my hand like I just wish it would melt properly from a 1 through 5 in the approval scale I might give this just in a first impression sort of way, I will give this a 2.5. This is just based on first impression. Now, the more I use it, that may be subject to change, but just from a first impression point of view, I would give this a 2.5 only, really because I didn't like the way it felt coming out of my face. Comment down below if you try this face mask and if you like it. Comment down below other face masks that you like so I can try it. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And I will see you in the next video.